He's going to show us some of his remote control helicopters, drones, and airplanes. He has extensive background in remote control, including working in movies, uh, doing different various shows of different kinds of people. So STEM class, huh? What do you tell me what that means? It's not just toys. Uh, you know, you can use this to get jobs in the military if you fly drones. You know. By the way, you know those all these spaceships that were sent into Mars and everything? They're remote controlled. They're just bigger RC. And uh, so it's something to, to pick up on. In fact, as you know, they found a candy bar wrapper on Mars last week. What kind of candy It says Earth. It says Earth. Made by Mars. It says Earth on the wrapper. That's right. He was smart when I was there. He'll be the astronaut. Yeah, you can make money doing this stuff, real estate, taking pictures, pictures that way. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to fly this helicopter. Uh, Mr. Tucci asked me to show you what, how, how helicopters work. This is one of the blades. You can pass this around. You can take a look at it and see if you've got airport on it. And I guess he's going into your, uh, the theory of Bernelli's principle, as you guys talked about that. This is where the wind goes under the wing faster than when the wind that goes over the top of it. So that creates a vacuum, and that causes it to want to lift up. That rotor blade is just like a wing on an airplane, except it goes around and goes fast enough to create the lift. That's a conventional helicopter with the tail rotor. This helicopter is counter-rotating. That means that there's a blade on the top that goes this way, and a blade on the bottom that goes this way. It goes spin exactly the same speed. So that means there's no torque on the body. So in order to turn it, you speed one up and slow the other down and vice versa.
weight less than a half an ounce. But it just goes to show that uh, as long as you have a little bit of air for it, anything will fly. And I'm going to show you some things that you probably don't think will fly. <laughs> well, they were warned ahead of time, and no one was hit with this two-ounce machine with protective pusher props. <laughs> they loved this the best. But these are Iowans. No fear.
Oh! Well, thanks for inviting me to your school again this year, Mr. Tucci. I hope I have given your students some inspiration. And thanks to Ilea for her great camera work, and thanks for watching, everybody. This is the Night Flyer, signing off till next time.